any update you can provide on, on Nas and today? Uh, Nas, will, he's fine. Yeah, so we're not, no issue at all there. You okay? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, it's day to day. Yeah, so. Sure's day to day. As I said yesterday, we, we got off lucky with that one. Is he yeah. going to skate with the other group? Uh, he's not going to skate no. today, no. Okay. No. What are you hoping to see out of your group tonight? Um, we have to find another level of speed to our game. I think we're now um, halfway through our exhibition season, and we have to raise the level of competitiveness around the puck, on the puck, however you want to put it. And that's five on five, it's special teams, it's everything. So this time of year, um, yeah, sometimes the hands and the reads are a little off, um, but you have to dial yourself in on, on the pace of play and you have to get your compete level to the point where um, you want it more than the guy you're playing against. So that's a lot of what we'll be looking for tonight. Are you seeing the details that you want to see, you know, the finer? details looked after at this point or is it still a evolution it's still an evolution but we're getting there there's stretches in every game where we've been really happy with um, someone's play away from the puck or how we're reacting to certain situations but that's something that I, I think even in the early stages of the regular season you'll you'll keep seeing um, improvements made in certain areas like I, I mentioned Ryan most of it now for us is about understanding that from where we were last year to the way the NHL has gone this year, the pace of play that we pay at, play at has to go up, as does the, the hunger for the loose puck. I know it's early and you probably haven't had your, your full power play groups together in one game yet, but you like what you're seeing out of those groups so far early on? Um, yeah, and that's, that's the hard part. Um, in a perfect world, you would get the units together. Um, some games we've m missed a guy that we were expecting to play. Uh, we didn't want to put him in a game. Um, uh, the hope is that we're going to see, we'll have one power play unit in there, a full unit tonight. So we're, we're excited about giving them a chance to play together. But the hope is that as we get going for the last couple of games, they'll, um, at least for two of the games, you'll see our, our units. Is this about the time when the, the preseason takes a step in terms of pace and yeah. stuff like that? I, I felt the last game in, in Abbotsford did for us from the prior three games. So. Um, or prior two games, I mean, three games, I mean, split squad game. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it does, and I think when you play against teams that um, play that way, the way Vancouver does, um, you start to realize that hey, it's getting it's getting more towards what it, it should be looking like. So again, it's a, a really good challenge for our players tonight um, to make sure they're they're finding that speed in the game and they're and they're they're playing hard. How important has have the veterans been in terms of reinforcing that message early on and I imagine preseason can get a little bit taxing at times like how, how important have the Uyghurs and, and then been it sort of uh, reinforcing your message? really good they've been excellent the, uh, those guys have been have been really strong in that department because when you do get further into camp there there can be a tendency of being like oh I'm tired I'm not sure about this but they've been our hardest working guys in practice and that's something I'm pretty proud of them for right, and there's been a lot of talk about Sam on I'm just curious in your experience What's the value of a guy seeing that the brand he's played at other levels can work in pro hockey? Um, I think it's more of him gaining the confidence, knowing that he can play that way. Like, um, that's the one thing that I see from him this year is he, he'll take a defenseman on and he'll challenge them wide with his speed. Uh, we didn't see that last year so much from him. And I think it's... Um, as we've talked about him before, he's gone away, had a really good summer, and he's come back in a mindset, I'm going to do everything I can to make this team. And a lot of it is um, built off of her. It comes with him having success one or two times for him to be really like, okay, uh, I can do that, as you're alluding to. Um, and that's where I see him right now. I, I feel like he's a player that's playing with a lot of confidence and a, a lot of belief in his ability. And, and he is one guy that's been uh, really strong for us throughout camp and the exhibition games. What, uh, what have you asked for from Adam Klapka in terms of he got some experience last season, now mm. trying to kind of grow his game from there? What, what's the ask for him? Um, when Adam came up the first time last year, he he really didn't know what we were looking for out of him, I guess. Um, maybe he tried to overhandle the puck a little bit too much and got himself into some trouble. The second time he came up, um, he was very direct with his play. 
So that's the messaging from us to him is that's what we're looking for. So we're not looking for anything offensive out of you. We want you to be a bigger body that's hard to play against, that um, hurries defensemen into making mistakes on the other side. And when you're doing that the right way, he has a good skill set where he'll be able to chip in when, when it's there for him. But we want him to be a guy that's really hard to play against, and we want him to be that guy consistently. Is that the kind of thing you've seen from some of your younger guys in, in the recent years, you know, they come up their first time, they sort of absorb a lot, and then their second time in the NHL or their, maybe their camp after they've been up for a little bit, they sort of have a much clearer sense of what they need to do and what they need to be to be successful? Sure, and that's part of maturing. It's part of growing up. That's part of what the experience is all about for their first go-round. Uh, they don't know what to expect when they first come for their first year. Um, a little bit of his uh, eye-opener for them. Um, but once they're, they've been in it and seen that, you know what, I, I'm a pretty good player too, then when they come back, they have a little bit more swagger, confidence, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you see a fairly significant change from a lot of them when they come back for their second year.